are too heavy to hold. <laughs> Good gosh. Today I'm going to be going through lots of possessions and clothes that I'm getting rid of. Now I am a hoarder, for those of you who don't know, so getting rid of things is an arduous and potentially lifelong task. And it's harder than it looks. <laughs> now stupidly I got rid of three boxes of stuff last month and forgot to photograph them. Some books, um, a cat light, a few objects that are sentimental but had to go. So there's three boxes of stuff that should be here that aren't. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> These videos are often too long, so grab yourself a cup of tea, grab a cat, and let's do this. Thank you, car. Tights. I don't wear them. Lots of them have holes. Jeans. So I bought these jeans in a charity shop in 2010 down in Bath. I was there because I was looking at the university to go to. It didn't work out. This was the first sort of pair of jeans I wore that were quite tight fitting around the hip area. I've worn these in tons of videos. They have been all over the world with me. So we have this from Topshop. It's just a, a white vesty top, very similar to what I'm wearing now. I'm getting rid of this because the material has degraded horrifically. And because it's white, it shows up 10 times worse. Not on camera, of course. Again, I've worn this in tons of photos. Here's some rather vain photos from 2015. Yes, I was quite sad. I seem to look more photogenic when I'm sad. Not that that's a good thing. That's not special at all. A swimming costume. Again, something else that now has lots of holes in it. I wore this quite a lot in 2013. My aprons from working at Lush. This was the long apron. In the main stores, you wear the big aprons like this. Um, whereas in the flagship store, uh, you wear the ones with the Lush logo over the top. There we go. They are quite good aprons. This is going. Woo! I haven't actually had this that long. I got this on Depop in 2016, but it's bobbled. The material's not very nice anymore. I guess that's a good sign because it means I've worn it a lot. Originally, this was from Forever 21. Here's me vlogging wearing this top in 2017. Yes, I do remember all the dates and periods I wore and bought clothes from. Can't help it, it's my brain. I haven't gone down my box and made a list so I can sit here and vlog. Every time I pick up an item, I'm flooded with memories. It's another reason why I'm documenting all of this. Um, but I know exactly where I got stuff. Like this. I was given this at VidCon 2016. Another pair of jeans. I bought these around August 2009, uh, whilst I was on a tour across Europe. So possibly in Hungary. The reason why I kept them is because they're elasticated. So even though they've always been slightly too big on my hips, being a short person, they've always fit lengthwise. But they have got to a point where the elastic's sort of gone and the bum is just, it's huge. The material's sort of hanging off my bum. So, gotta go. I've kept one pair though. One pair for painting. You'll notice I will keep a lot of stuff for painting. We have that. Again, a charity shop purchase that I liked, but it doesn't suit me. I had those about eight years. Little tiny shorts. They're now too small, the material's faded. Um, this has got to go. I guess the origins of this top are quite bizarre. This belonged to my sister's boyfriend from 2008, and it ended up in my possession. And for a long time, I loved it. I even caught the sleeve on fire over a candle about 2014. There we go. And it's not even something I like. Like, I hate black in clothing like this. It's just, blech. We have a pair of jogging bottoms from 2010. They're finally going. Get off me. These I've had a couple of years. Again, they've been all over the world with me. Just some simple t-shirts and things, which I have worn in videos like this. This is me wearing this earlier in the year. I do keep mentioning size, by the way. I think size is tremendously important to mention because some of this goes back over 10 years. And in 10 years, my whole shape has changed. I was looking at myself in the mirror this morning, trying on lots of underwear that I'm about to get rid of. And uh, I thought to myself, my goodness, where have these hips come from? 
I mean, I've had hips for a good 10 years or so, but suddenly around, I don't know, where your knickers sit on your hips, it's like it's a different body. And I will mention it because it is a big thing for me. I have put on weight for the first time in years. That is a good thing. I'm actually struggling to fit in some of my jeans right now. Again, is it because my hips are changing? Am I putting on weight in different places to when I was younger? The thing is, even though my body is bigger, my face looks the same. If anything, my face looks thinner. It's, it's weird. More knickers to get rid of. I do struggle parting with knickers as well. We have a pajama top. I still have the bottoms for this, but the material has gone. More knickers. A Hollister top which has lasted about eight years. It really is horrible right now. Blech. I'm wearing this top in this photo from 2011. I was at the end of my tether in that photo and that person feels a lifetime away. Looking at that photo is quite disturbing. Um, it's almost like a painting. There's lots of tiny things I put in um, or things you can see within that photo um, that reflect my mental state at that time and it's just kind of hard to get rid of the top from that period. But yeah, come on. Right, story time. Another pair of trousers. This pair of trousers were given to me by Alison Barker at my church in 2008 when they looked after me for the day and it poured with rain and I didn't have a spare set of clothes. So they lent me those and I never gave them back. I actually saw them for the first time in many, many years last year because I went back to my church and I told them I still had the trousers and they laughed. Um, and I have permission to give these away. Oh, another bra. Another pair of knickers. Ah, I bought this dress in summer 2014 and I love the way it looked on the mannequin, but it didn't quite look the same on me. This bit of my body looked quite strange and uh, it made me look quite odd, I suppose. The design's quite flat, so it shows up everything. This has been in and out of my throwing away box for about two years. It's gone. We have a typical white shirt. There we go. More knickers. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. This top has been in my possession for 11 years. I bought this in June 2007. Uh, my family and I were going away to Florida and I didn't have any sort of tops like this. Back then, the majority of my clothes were literally school uniform. I ended up buying about three of these, an orange, a green. I have worn this in several cloning photos. Most notably, one of my first cloning photos from 2007. You can see me wearing them in this photo here. Yes, I know the photo is quite pixelated and it's terrible, but yeah, we're going back 11 years. I have tried my best to make these last as long as possible and um, they're not me at all. I hate the colours, but it's the sentimental value that's hard to part with. Um, but no, we're finally getting there. Oh, ah, here's the fluorescent one. Whew, same as the red one. We're getting rid of this. Finally. I bought this in Canterbury in 2012. I actually bought this with my mum for my grandpa's funeral. I know it's, it's coloured, um, but my grandparents didn't want black and white at their funeral. They wanted colour. I tried this on recently and I could barely get it on, which upset me a bit in the sense that's how small I was and it was a bad thing. I truly don't like the way I look in that photo. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, you can see I'm losing my words a little bit. It's just stimulus. What do I associate with this? Oh, and I also took this to America with me and I wore it in a short film that I made on the Brooklyn Bridge, which was horrendous. In editing, I realised that I wore this in the video where I ranted about the Fort in Our Stars back in 2014 and I wore it at my meetup in London back in 2014 as well. We have one of my dad's baggy shirts. This is probably from about 2007. I love baggy shirts. I will happily just wear a baggy shirt to bed. Um, and now I have all of James's to choose from. But yeah, this one in particular though, this one's just had its time. I have a watch that I was given on my 12th birthday by Amber, I think. I love the watch and I always told myself I'd get the battery replaced when it stopped, but I never did. And now I have a lovely watch from Calvin Klein. So, it's gone. We have this 
weird cardigan that made me feel like Peter Pan. I feel like Peter Pan today. The second star to the right shines in the night for you. I can't remember the lyrics. Anyway, moving on from Peter Pan. I still like this, but I just look so weird in it. Another bra. I got this in a thrift store in New York. I think it was the first bra I sort of bought in a charity shop. And I still love it, but it's stretched beyond what I can wear. It's just such nice material. I love the color. Oh, I want to buy another one of those. One that actually fits. We have this. <sighs> I'm just gonna hold it up and put it down. Now I have two dresses here that I bought in TK Maxx around 2013 and I love the design, I love the way they feel, they're brilliant summer dresses and look quite formal. Um, this one actually has, has a hole somewhere in the chest. It got caught on my DSLR when I was walking around Manhattan. I was mortified. And whilst I still love the dress, bad memories. This dress I still love. I mean, it's exactly the same design cut-wise. Um, I'll get rid of one and keep the other. Another pair of knickers. Told you. We have two pairs of jeans. I think I brought these um, in Primark about four or five years ago and have worn them to shreds. I'm gonna keep one pair for when I paint because again, they have a little bit more elastic in the top. And I think the elastic's gone on this one. It's such a shame because they're so lightweight and durable, amazingly. We have that. This is a denim skirt that I wore frequently in 2010. I think it was from Primark around 2009. And it still would fit me now. I have another one in the cupboard, so I'm getting rid of one. I just don't wear them. Here's another top where it started to bubble. Um, and again, it wasn't as stylish as I thought it was. When I wear it, it sort of looks like I'm wearing a pajama top. It's only the zip on the back that tells you that no, this is a professional, professional? This is work clothes. A pair of boots from Tesco's in 2013. I'm only getting rid of them because the bottoms, look at that. I have worn them as much as possible, but we've got to that point where they're no longer waterproof and my feet get soaked. I mean, on a dry day they're fine, but no, I love those. An umbrella slash glasses case. Lots and lots of knickers. There are some possessions in here, I promise. Oh, here we go. All at once. Um, I just, yeah, and that. I've had this since I was about eight years old. Um, that's nearly 20 years. Candle holders, more clothes, bedtime stuff, a massive poncho. I did wear it a lot at the end of the noughties, but I haven't worn this in at least eight years. A massive belt, another candle holder, some sentimental stuff that has to go. Burn it. A necklace, fluorescent rainbow leg warmers, bedtime shorts. Gloves, silly things. I got rid of about four or five books. Um, I've tried to make space on my bookcase. And the last thing is jewellery. I'm a jewellery fanatic. Jewellery is so small and delicate that holding this bag up doesn't look that substantial, but there's a lot of jewellery in here. A few necklaces, bracelets, and gemstones. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I mean, jewellery's slightly different to clothes. Um, but this bag is stuff that I am never going to wear again. So at some point this will be donated or given away or something like that. In terms of the stuff that I have here, some of this I will donate to charity shops and the remainder I will recycle. To sort of round this off, I know this video's not quite up everyone's street, it's more for me than anybody else, but I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of Rebecca's past. On a personal level, I do feel that I'm starting to put a distance between past Rebecca and current Rebecca, and that feels so good. Okay, so I'm now gonna go. Bye-bye. I also bore this in a few- Thank you, James. Sorry, but are you recording? Yep.